Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today something slightly unusual. I'm trying to keep away from the sun. It's been so so hot here in Bosnia-Herzegovina. It's been unreal. I've been hiding <laughs> uh, for the last I don't know how many weeks. Um, I thought I had it bad in Afghanistan, which it was. It was 50 degrees there. Uh, where was the next place? Dubai. Goodness me that was so hot. I had to keep hiding uh, in air conditioning. Um, but over the past few weeks here, and you might have seen it on the blog posts and the vlogs and everything, we've had um, nearly 42 degrees, which isn't uh, as serious as I've had before, but still um, really hot. Anyway, uh, there's going to be a series of uh, videos starting today, um, and I'm going to be updating them occasionally. It's because for the past few months I've been thinking about <sighs> Can I do something um, exciting, something really, really adventurous? Um, and I've been following a lot of people who use bicycles um, for backpacking or bike packing, as they call it, and also touring. Now, they go off for months and months and months at a stretch and have everything on panniers, on bags on the back of their bikes, and they camp out um, and they see amazing things. Now, yeah, I was a soldier for 30 years or so, so camping out doesn't really tweak me uh, anymore. I do like a little bit of comfort, um, but I've been captivated, yeah that's the word, captivated by maybe getting a bike um, and riding around the northwest of Bosnia-Herzegovina, in fact on my doorstep to go to places where other people, non uh well, tourists, if you like, people that don't come from Bosnia-Herzegovina, to show them right off the beaten track. And I thought a bike would be a really good way to do that. But uh, I want to do it on a budget. I don't have a, a huge amount of money. So it's all about finding a cheap bike, maybe a second-hand frame, and putting all that together, um, doing a few proof-of-concept trips, maybe just a day or two or three days. But I would stop in a small... I don't know, bed and breakfast or small hotel. I'm not going to go and camp out. And I also don't want to go out and get drenched with rain and be freezing cold as well. So a bit of a lightweight tour, I suppose I will call myself. But we had, we had bought um, 10, 15 years ago, a mountain bike. And yeah, I've got it out today. It hasn't been used. It's been left out for years. It's rusty. It's full of cobwebs. Uh, the tires are megaly flat. But I thought maybe, just maybe, I could clean it up and then convert it. But sadly, that isn't the case. So this is it. As you can see, it has seen better days. Um, we got it. Um, I bought it from a store in Tusla a long long time ago it wasn't all expensive then and I think it's cheap as chips if I was to buy one now but it cannot be usefully modified I mean we want to put a pannier on the back there maybe have some panniers on the front it doesn't have a straight fork it has this sort of suspension look at it all the gears everything's rusty and no matter how much I would clean it up it's not going to be uh, very good I mean it's just not suited is it and look at the frame it's got a very unusual frame so I think it's going to be off to the Banja Luka Piazza one Sunday it won't be for the next few Sundays because we're getting ready to go on holiday um, and then try and modify it up but it won't be this bike not at all of course, if you think this can be modified for touring, then please let me know in the comments below or wherever you see this video. There we have it then. So the bike I've got isn't going to be very good. So the next step for me is to go and find something cheap and cheerful. Uh, as I say, the Banja Luka Piazza, the big Sunday market, has a lot of cheap bikes there. Will there be one that's suitable? I don't know, but what I do know is I need to get a bike with 26 in 26 inch wheels. Yes, uh, it needs to have lots of places or as many as possible on the frame to bolt accessories to. What else does it need? I need to get um, tires that are puncture free. I know you can get them. I know they're expensive, but I'm prepared to pay for that. 
what else am I prepared to pay for? Yes, and I'm going to get a Brooks B17 saddle. Apparently, that is it. And I'm getting older, so a little bit of comfy around the backside area um, would be welcome. So that's it. Let's see how this project um, goes on. I'm putting this online so I'm accountable. As I say, don't expect any more videos just yet. I will open a playlist uh, for it. Um, when we do get to the Banja Luka Piazza, I'm not sure if people there are going to let me film, but if we buy something from that, you're, from there, you're going to be the first to know about it. So yeah, the Bosnia Bike Project. I'm quite excited about it. A few proof of concept trips, hopefully, before the autumn, and then I can do some planning during those cold and bad weather months, and then next year early crack on and show you places that nobody else will show you so thanks for watching and i'll catch you wherever you see this next time bye for now